60 year wait is nearly over and a win against neighbours Fulham would leave them needing just one more victory to lift the crown or for Arsenal to slip up on Monday night against Spurs. The multi-millionaires have already begun to repay the money invested by billionaire owner Roman Abramovich. No wonder he can't stop smiling. The heartbeat of the Blues have all been nominated for the Player of the Year, reflecting what an extraordinary season it's been at Stamford Bridge. Problems, though, for Chelsea. At left back, with both Gallus and Bridge injured, it meant that Robert Huth would be the latest to try and fill that role. Ian Robin's long-awaited return began on the bench. Fulham, still threatened by relegation, were missing influential players Papa Buba Diop and Andy Cole, so they named the same team that got a point at Middlesbrough in midweek. Chelsea's boss begins another exciting week of top league and European action with a local derby. Your commentators are John Champion and Paul Walsh. The achievement of being the Barclays English Premier League champions is recognised, of course, throughout the footballing world. Yet here we are watching what could be construed as a fairly parochial occasion. There's Ian Robin, who's back on the bench, just adjusting his bootlaces. Joe Cole trying to skip away from Pembridge. That's a good ball for Drogba. And he's drawn Knight across. And the ricochet is kind for Lampard, and here's good Jonsson. Maybe his control was lacking. Duff is in support for him. Duff teasing bolts. Here comes the cross. There's Drogba. <sighs> yeah, the cross, great cross from Damien Duff. Just Drogba just pulling away because the cross was moving away from goal. Here you see, just drops his shoulder, makes that bit of space. Here comes Joe Cole on the burst. He's got Rossini to deal with, first of all. He's got past him. <sighs> that Knight's big right boot did the job for Fulham. Johnson. Fox's his clearance straight to Drogba. Here's Cole, and they're not tightly marking him! And that is the result. They left him to his own devices, and Joe Cole scores an outstanding goal for Jose Mourinho's Chelsea as they take another stride towards the Premier League title. Uh, it's just a, an example of the fantastic ability that Joe Cole's got. It comes to Drogba, luckily, or you say mis miscontrolled by Volks. He just works out a bit of space, takes the slightest of deflections, but he's wrapping his foot around it. It's on target, it's right into the corner, and Van der Sar got no chance at all. Damien Duff. And Duff putting his foot on the accelerator. And the cross for Drogba. And Didier Drogba! No more than a yard and a half away from making it 2-0. There you see it. Great balance, great agility. Gets his foot around the ball. That's agonisingly close for Didier Drogba. Here's Drogba, and now Damien Duff, and Van der Sar struggling that time, and, well, it looked 40-60 against him, but he made it. Yeah, I just thought Duff just pulled up a touch, it just felt in the first instance if Drogba had left the pass from Frank Lampard that Damien Duff would have been straight in. And so he just had that touch, and then he had to slide Duff in. Now Collins John, and Carvalho has got it all on! <laughs> oh, there's a shock! Collins John with a sucker punch for Fulham! So a little ball slid up the side, and really, Collins John wins a ball that he shouldn't win. And I think uh, Carvalho, by his standards, will be disappointed with this goal. He leans into Collins John, he just holds him off, and coolly slots it in that far post area. Carvalho always had a yard on him, and I think when he sees that, he'll be disappointed. Drogba. Duff. Field that the foot was high by Pembridge, the referee had a good view and said no. Fulham, in relative terms at least, are finishing the half pretty strongly. Radzinski. And well hit as well! Collins John nearly made it 2 1. He just set himself, he's just trying to strike through it, nice and relaxed. And just steer it into that far corner. Here's Lamp. 
Lampard. And Robin is clear, and Robin is striding in on goal, and Robin tries to check back and loses his footing. People were rising from their seats, offside against Goodyons, and it won't count. Well, he drills a great ball across by Edgar Johnson and just crept that yard and a half into an offside position. Goma, Lampard, four up with him. Maybe he dallied too long. Radzinski dispossessed him. Duff, hurting the attempt from Radzinski. Robin, Volts has lost him this time. There's Lampard! There is Chelsea's lead once again. There is Chelsea's century of goals for what will be a championship season. And John Terry makes the interception, gives it to Duff. Duff in turn comes inside, slips it to Ozan Robin, who does a, a fantastic little nutmeg through the legs of Volts, pulls it back. Frank Lampard strides onto it and a fantastic side foot finish. Absolutely first class. And that's what Chelsea are capable of at any given time. And they haven't played, they haven't been at their best, Chelsea. But they've got this in their locker. Chelsea's talisman delights his manager. Rosinia. Radzinski. Fulham still sticking at it, and Radzinski shoots. Helped over the bar by Petacek. Here you see, they tend to move away from him as he comes in. Everyone's leaving it to everybody else. This is Bermorte, Malbronk. Bermorte was tumbled over off the ball behind the referee's back by Glenn Johnson. He's none too happy with it. But there is Ida Good Johnson, and he can seal this game, and he has. Chelsea three, Fulham one. Chelsea on the brink of the title now. Here you see the play breakdown. What a fantastic ball that is, and what a first touch. And then cuts across the defender. Defender can't touch him then, and just slots it into that bottom right-hand corner. Fantastic goal. McBride to John. And the referee spotted the infringement and Fulham have a free kick. <laughs> Two options for Fulham. Right foot of Collins, John, or the left of Bermorte. It is John. Oh, and that's a good save by Czech because I think it took a deflection off the wall as well. Yeah, it certainly did take a deflection and... Uh... It certainly meant that Peter Cech had to go into full stretch. And there is another victory safely banked. And it may well be that Chelsea have already done enough to claim the English Premier League title. Full-time score at Stamford Bridge in the West London derby. Reads Chelsea 3, Fulham 1. Nothing to be down about. The one thing we got to be down about, we didn't get a point or, or three. What, what, what we can be, can walk away with our heads that high. We pushed the champions all the way. They know they've been in the game. And like I said, they've had to change it three times. So that's a testament to the performance of my players. If we'd have been in Arsenal today, would have been the day. Um, but it wasn't. Um, we celebrated. We didn't celebrate for winning the league. We know that's not there yet. We wouldn't celebrate too early, but we were very happy with the result. It gets us, as you say, uh, within real touching distance. And... Um, the job still has to be done, we'll be watching on Monday night to see if 